Good day. Welcome to today's session, which is about how to use InfraWorks in the initial stages of a road design project. InfraWorks is best suited for the preliminary design and due diligence stages of your project. Once you are ready to proceed to detailed design, you can then export the models to Civil 3D. My name is Loi Sotoy. I'm a civil engineer at Tabisa Consulting. This channel is for you and the topics we cover come directly from questions we get on a daily basis. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and we also welcome your comments on this video. If there are other topics you would like us to cover, please get in touch by leaving a comment. With that said, let's dive in. We now have here a model of an area where we would like to build a road connecting that existing road to this existing road. So how we will start is we will create uh, we will create a planning road. There's various types of planning roads and you can select uh, any particular type here. Um, as you can see there's quite a, a few types available. I want to select I want to select this one. No, I want to select this one. Okay, I'm going to start the road at that point. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay. So that is that is our road. Let's just uh, have a look at this road of ours. Let's have a look at this road. I just wanted to oh, I just want to make sure that this road intersects perfectly. Yes. That is our route. Now that we've got our route, uh, we just want to go and uh, manage and then the context and we go into the style palette. As you can see, we've got quite a few options here. We're looking for road and we're going to select that. As you can see, we've already got quite a few components of, of our road here. But what I want to do, I'd like to just uh, change the width of my cab, um, 0.3. The sidewalk, I would also like to change it to 2. Um, no, I think I'll, I, will, I will keep the sidewalk at 1.5 and change the bike lane. Uh, to two okay so let's see now I think we are we are good here yeah? okay so I think we can we can close this palette now uh, if we can click on this road itself and then we can convert it into a component road. Now that we've done that, you find that we can see our road much better. We can see the side of it. Looks good. Our road looks good. as you can see we can even see the size of it nicely it's in cut in certain certain areas but uh, we are going to finalize everything here okay let's exit out of that i think i want to rotate my route on it 
and uh, let's now see profile of our road and we can see that it's got some um, vpis and curves vertical curves there uh, we want to just check the we want to just check the quantities for this road i want to we can see that uh, for this road we've got a net cut of 25000 cubes uh, so maybe we need to just look at optimizing this and reduce that amount of cut okay so we will go back to that profile view hmm where are we cutting maybe let me add a vertical curve here okay and then i'll shift this curve to about there and then i'm gonna add another vertical curve around about here okay now that we've got our road like that i want to see how our quantities are shaping up now i see that we have a net fill of 2225 but I hope that uh, begins to know. Yes, it is. Uh, because that was 5,900, and this is 8,000, so it's 2,000. But uh, we're not gonna spend a lot of time trying to get this to balance, but we hope that you are now getting an idea that uh, this is what you would need to do to just uh, optimize the, the design of the road. But we just wanna show you more just the the other elements of this road now that uh, we've added the vpi and we've seen the quantities just want to check the the grading as you can see here the grading method that's being used is a fixed width i think i'd like to get a fixed slope and here we just want to get the cut slope to be one is to two and having done that uh, let's see now what what is it giving us uh, 2004 so it's just gone up but uh, yeah but i'm sure if you play with the other things you'll be able to uh, reduce that okay uh, also i think what you you can now see is that yeah, this, this road of ours looking nice. Okay, I just want to look at the. I want to look at the cross falls on this road. Uh, let's see what have we got here. As you can see, we have not yet set any any cross falls on the road. But that's what we're gonna do now so that uh, we have got a slope across and also even put some slopes on the uh, bicycle lane and on the let us do that i was first want to come here on the lane itself uh, what we can do here i just wanna just for like you may say just put the depth of the layer works to half a meter and I want to put this uh, the slope of that lane at 2% and I also want to put that uh, sidewalk at 2% I will put the bike lane at one percent okay we set the sidewalk we're gonna keep the sidewalk at two percent and the bike lane 
we'll keep it at one uh, percent okay uh, just wanna see again uh, see the cross section oh okay see that that one we have not changed but let's see what's going on here uh, something is going on is going around there okay let's get out uh, we see that okay that's why it went to two that one went to one uh, two two okay that slope there I want that at two one of these is gonna have to be at minus two but we'll check um, okay that is a two okay I think that we'll just do a final check uh, let's have a look at the cross cross section view okay that's looking better we just need to check change the uh, layer works depth at that point i think it's a layer works depth here okay no it's not that one okay i want this layer work this layer works to be at 0.5 okay let's see now Okay, I think I want one of these must just be negative. Uh, I'll just give that a negative. Okay. Ah, there you are. Now you can see we've got a nice uh, slope and as we travel up this road you can get to see what kind of long section sort of cross sections we have um, but yeah it's showing you the cross sections along the way and in this way you'll be able to kind of optimize your your design of your of your road and once completed you can now take this uh, design or export it into into um, civil 3d for your detailed design so i just want to check now where we are wow look at that we came now we've got a net fill of 783 uh, cubic meters but again you know what you can still uh, fine tune it further if you if you so wish uh, but yeah, I think for the purpose of what we are doing, we have got our beautiful road. Wow, how's that? How is that road? Now this is uh, the kind of uh, the things that you can use for your present for your presentations to your clients and and other stakeholders. I hope uh, this shows you how you can use InfraWorks to do your prelim designs and uh, I think it's looking good now. You can see the fields on the side of the road and your road is looking nice. How is that? How is that road? Well, thank you very much. I hope you this has been useful to you, and I'm sure there's more that we will we will do with this with this program. Thank you very much.